Kari. Come here. Good girl. You're a good girl. You like these morning walks, don't we? Good girl. Good girl. Right? So let's have a little talk about some real stuff that happened. Come on, car. Let's go. So today, I wanted to have a little talk. Out taking Kari for a walk in the morning. And it's right after a very tragic thing happened here in Texas. A person decided to take a rifle and go into a mega church here in Houston, Texas. And they decided to try to kill a lot of people. There's stories coming out about it. They're saying that the shooter was trans. The things that are confirmed is that two off-duty officers one of them a local police officer and the other one was a federal agent who happened to be in the church at the time. Both of them managed to take down the shooter by having a, a short 12 minute gunfight. In the process of that 12 minute gunfight, a seven year old child was hit. It's believed that the child was the son of the shooter they're still doing stories on it but it looks like the looks like the shooter was an illegal immigrant who came from el salvador or venezuela was using a different name was potentially even identifying as trans these things keep happening in our world a lot of people don't follow politics and don't see what's going on. I don't even think it's a political issue. I think it's a mental health issue. And the fact that you have a large subset of people that are pushing this mental health forward and telling people that these people are actually okay when they're clearly not then they're most likely on some type of drugs on some type of medication. They're getting something in that's got to affect the way your brain and your chemistry works. People don't want to address it, but it's just the truth. Something that's become more prevalent to me is that there's just outright evil in this world. When you can, not only do you think about going to a church specifically, because you're, you're absolutely targeting people with the belief system and those people that you're targeting, there is so many public places you can go, but you targeted a church and that's, 
uh, mega churches are well known. They're all over the U.S., mainly in the South, but they're everywhere. So when you do that kind of act, you are targeting as many people as you can that are all actually gathered there for one belief. It doesn't matter if it's a Jewish synagogue, if it's a Muslim temple, if it's a Hindu temple, Christian church, Catholic church. That's evil. It's evil in the eyes of everybody with a belief system. The only people that don't think it's evil are people without belief. Sorry, she's such a good girl. Yeah, down girl. I don't know about y'all, but something that's become more and more evident to me is this feeling that there is some evil go in this world and it is showing its face. Luckily, there were two police officers there who managed to stop it. And this isn't the first time in Texas here we have open carry laws and we have concealed carry laws. Not everywhere do you have that. And this is this keeps happening. I pray for everybody that's affected. I pray for the child that's affected. I can't imagine a parent that takes their child in with them to do an act like this. I can't imagine a human being going in to a place of worship and trying to commit that type of atrocity. It is just absolutely unthinkable to me. I don't understand it. I hope if y'all see this, you know that here in Texas, there's a lot of us that carry. And we don't carry to be scary to other people. And we don't carry because we want to you know, go out and do bad things or we're just trying to show off. We carry because we care about the lives of the people around us and we want to protect them. As someone with kids and a wife, I think about this when we go out. What could happen? And we try our best to be situationally aware But it's also why we tend to stay away from traveling out of town to states that don't let you carry. If there's anything I can impart on you, especially if you ride a motorcycle, you already know about keeping situationally aware. You got to do it off the bike. You got to do it in the store. You got to do it when you go out in public events. You just got to do it more often. There are evil people in this world. A lot of people don't want to believe it. To a lot of us, it's unthinkable. But there's people out there that are good people that are getting ready and prepared to try to help their fellow neighbor. I hope you guys stay safe.